Today we are taking a look at unboxing, testing and a quick review of a universal laptop charger from Powseed from Amazon which costs about £21.99 at the time of purchase. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hino My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So welcome to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing so you can uh, get my future videos in good times and also check out my other videos on the channel. Now, this video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. There is, however, an affiliate link for both Amazon US and UK. If you buy anything from Amazon using the link, you will help the channel with a small kickback and it won't cost you anything extra. So please consider supporting the channel. Thank you. Now, there are other makes and models of uh, universal laptop chargers. Feel free to shop around. This one actually came recommended. And so far, I've been happy buying recommended Prime products from Amazon and also this was really convenient at the time, okay? So let's uh, open this bad boy up. This is the PowerSeed AC 90 watt charger, 15 volt to 20 volt, okay? It's a pretty basic box, uh, nothing major. So we have a UK kettle lid. We have what looks like some um, connectors and we have the main adapter, right? All goody goody, and uh, we have also some sort of warranty card and a very um, basic looks like a manual. So we'll take a look at the manual first, right? So the manual, right? The manual, thanks for buying Power Seed 90 watt universal adapter. Um, it's giving you the various uh, connectors, the names of them, and the equivalent. Um, DC voltage and the size as well and some suggestions of what laptops it could actually fit okay so it's not too bad quite handy um, it's pretty basic we have the main kettle plug lead this is a free connector on both ends okay so live neutral and earth cool we have the main adapter um, this is See if you can zoom this in. Right, so it's PowSeed AC adapter 90 watt, model PA3900-Z, 90 watt max. Input 100 to 240 volt, and uh, 5 amp, 50-60 hertz. And there's various output from 15 volt all the way to 20 volt at 4.5 amp, okay? So pretty um, standard stuff. This is also three connector. I'm guessing this is for the connectors, power seed, right? As for the connectors, we've got various um, connectors. I believe there's about 15. I think there is 15. And uh, this is actually kind of an upgrade from my previous one because the previous one I had only had eight connectors. So there's got a lot more. Um, I kind of like this inclusion. These are the square a laptop charger connectors. I think some Lenovo machines they use these, which is quite handy. I didn't have this on my previous one, which was the Tech U301. I'm going to put the link below. Um, okay. And apart from that, it looks pretty standard. The rest of the stuff. Now, what's interesting also is if you don't have the manual. Let me see if we can zoom this in. Now, maybe this is not clear enough for you, but I will try to give you a picture later. On there, there is 9.5 volt. M to 8 connector so in case you don't have the exact manual uh, you could try to read off from there okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to test um, the voltage before we test on a laptop just to see you know since we're a tech channel why not now if you don't know how to use a multimeter I have a couple of uh, tutorials on there feel free to check out these tutorials okay Okay, since we've got our multimeter out, we might as well be thorough and uh, check the AC voltage on the adapter for the AC kettle lead first. And uh, we need to select AC voltage for this one. Just remember to check out my other videos for how to use a multimeter to test uh, laptop chargers. Okay, so left one, we should get about 239, 240 volt. Yep, 240 volt, so that's good to go. Pops your uncle. This one says 16 volt on there. We should be getting 16 volt. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting 16.6 something, which is all right. Let's test this one. This says 15 volt. Okay, this one 15 volt. Okay. Cool. 19.5 volt. Yep. It's about right. Cool. Okay, so being the thorough guy that I am, I've just tested every single one of these and uh, they all are reading fine. Just a couple of notes for you to know that sometimes some of these bigger ones, okay, there are, there's an inside pin. Let me see if you can zoom this in. Oopsie daisy. Here we are. Hopefully you can see there's an inside pin. Okay, so when you're testing, if you touch some of them, the bigger ones, if you touch the pin, you may not get the correct reading. So you have to touch the inner wall instead, okay, with the red one. So that's just something for you to bear in mind. Uh, I probably need to update my other laptop charger test with a multimeter a tutorial, hopefully. But all in all, it's a good idea to test everything before you just start using them. If you have a multimeter, it's really handy. By the way, this is also affiliate link below. Please use it to buy one of these or a similar. There's a few tutorials we've done on that. And uh, test every single connector before you start using them because if there's any problem, you can return them. And uh, that's always something wise to do. So I got a Sony laptop and uh, with the original charger, this one is a 19.5 volt. So we're going to find in 19.5 volt. Looks about this one. Test it. Yep, looks like it fits. Okay. Now we are going to plug that in. And we're going to remove the battery. Properly test it. All right, so no battery. Put that in there. If it's a bit loose, maybe it's not the right one, but let's see if it turns on at least. Yeah, it turns on. good to go all right at least I know this works so I'm quite happy with this and I've got another one this is a Dell laptop and uh, let's check the charger the charger for this one the funny looking hexagonal stuff and this is a again 19.5 volt but we have to find the right connector maybe the same one will work no so this is a different connector altogether all right so we have to find the right connector that will fit. I think it might be this one, 19.5. Let's see if it fits. It's a bit loose. Maybe not this one. This one as well. Let's take off the battery. Hopefully it might work. Yep, it's turned on. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, final thoughts. Now, should you buy one of these to use as a permanent replacement for your own uh, dedicated laptop charger? That's really gonna be your call. What I do know is I used one before and I uh, haven't used it for long term for a laptop. But currently, my previous one is with a client who's a desktop is a laptop pretending to be desktop and he's actually using that for his main daily driver and it's been fine it's been a few months he hasn't had any issues one issue which people do report sometimes is that the actual adapter itself can get a bit hot but that's your call however i do find that having some sort of universal charger with all these different connectors is a plus and it does help especially if you have more than one laptop it actually can cost cheaper than buying an original um, lap dedicated laptop charger. So it's really going to be your call. I, for one, will not be able to do my work if I don't have 
uh, at least one of these lying around and uh, having different types of connectors is really handy and sometimes clients bring me stuff um, that they don't have connectors or chargers for and this does help me a lot. Uh, as for will it power a Mac? Probably not. I don't know if there's any adapters or converters that will use this to power a Mac but it does cover a wide range as you can see. Now like I mentioned before there are various other makes and models please feel free to choose whichever you feel necessary. I would recommend that you do try to get one of these if you have at least one or two laptops lying around is really handy and for the price you know you can always try and if it's not good just return it so thank you so much for watching as usual you know what to do down below leave me a comment leave me a like and also remember to subscribe if you haven't done so yet please also remember to use my affiliate link to help the channel and hopefully we shall catch you in the next one as always this was a pleasure this was ash from hill my tech helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out